I'm Dana Nicole Anderson, and this is my family tree story. I will start with my mom's side, my maternal side. Uh, my grandmother, Elaine, um, her family came from the West Indies. I know parts of their story, parts of the journey, something about a boat. <laughs> my great grandmother not really knowing like what her birthday was or what year she was born. Um, I have uh, very little knowledge of her husband, my mom's dad, very little. Um, but I was really blessed to be very close with that side of the family and their tight knit unit was something that was filled with music and food and Caribbean flavor and lots of joyous celebration and a, a lot of a lot of culture. Like it's a big part of my family tree. Just that whole unit that ended up in New York and specifically in Harlem, which has its own really rich culture. Like I can hear a Harlem accent anywhere because of that. Um, so Elaine right there is uh, the matriarch say, so to speak on that side. Um, and my dad's side, I know quite a bit about parts of that family tree story. One of the things I learned, we used to have really, really huge family reunions. So that gave me the opportunity to, to learn some of these things. Um, on the maternal side for my father, Amy Anderson, who comes from the Martin family, their, <laughs> something about their family was rooted in some like slave named Mary who had a gazillion kids. And I wanna say it was like 22 or something like that. And there was only like two sets of twins. Um, she did have kind of fair skin. I remember seeing a picture at one of the family reunion setups with all these children and like half of that unit was like very rich and dark skin tone and the other part of it, they were light skin. So that tells you a lot about that. There was some type of relationship, I wanna say to South Carolina, but I may have that mixed up. But I will, I will say that we know for sure that Mary was kind of like the start of that for the Martins and my grandmother, Amy, her father, Ike, Isaac Martin, was uh, apparently a bad mofo. Like really, I remember from that side, a richness about their culture. He started a bar in a house. <laughs> and I don't know if this is true, but it was like, the story is like one day Gaga, who is my dad's mom, came home to, and there was like a, a bar set up and then it just grew. And they had this post-war tavern that was the local watering hole in Marstown, New Jersey. The Martins ended up moving from the South into kind of three branches. So that side of the family, my dad's maternal side, Amy Anderson now, um, was in Detroit, Northern New Jersey and upstate New York around Buffalo. Pretty large, amount of cousins I have. We've been featured on like the news, you know, people come and cover our family reunions when we used to have them every summer because we had like, I want to say like a thousand cousins. We had astronauts. <laughs> Literally, there was an astronaut in my family. Somebody on Good Times was in my family. And all of this story would kind of circle around this bar, the post-war tavern. It was like a staple in Morristown, New Jersey. I have black and white photography somewhere of like the well, we call it a logo now. Um, a lot of stuff came through that bar. A lot of family, trouble, fun, food. They used to barbecue out in the back parking lot. Um, Isaac, Ike, Martin, and my grandmother, Gaga, like that side of the family had like real estate around town and stuff like that. Like 
there was something a little bit special. I remember kind of going to Marstown in the summer and seeing all the, the siblings have all kinds of stuff. They had, they had a little ownership, like a stake in that town. And then um, my grandfather, Charlie Anderson, who my grandmother met in Marstown, New Jersey, um, his family, I think, is the side that's from Jenkinsville, South Carolina, is what I heard. My mom, when she started dating my dad, or maybe after they were married, had the pleasure of going down there with him. And she talks about being a girl from Harlem, that being like barefoot country. <laughs> um, my mom got to experience a lot of uh, more of like the Southern felt like country to her uh, on that side of the family. Um, but Charlie's family, he also had siblings. There was a lot of respect around town for Charles Anderson. He was a police officer. He was very charismatic. He owned his space. He had a lot of confidence. He was handsome as all get out. And my grandmother, Amy, was beautiful. And they had real estate and they had great kids, my dad and my aunt Charlene. And they've had a legacy um, in Marstown that still extends now. If I went to places where my grandfather like volunteered or other old police officers, he was also in the military, like that kind of tone around him is just respect. His brother, my uncle Ryland just passed this past year in 2020. And I found out that he was part of this unknown group of black Marines. They were like the first Marine Corps. There was all this little rich history around Marstown, New Jersey that because I was in it, I didn't get taught it and I'm learning it as an adult. So if my story seems a little broken up, it's because I'm still collecting stories. Um, but I'll segue that into, that is a huge part of my life now when I really kind of hit my stride and started my own personal growth and transformation. I have become a storyteller through all kinds of disciplines of art. I make visual art. This is about the Twin Towers. <laughs> um, I paint a little bit. I write poetry. I dance just like my grandmother's side of the family did. We had a dance studio in Harlem. So it's kind of like my goal as an artist to continue some of that legacy. That's my Judith Jameson, Alvin Ailey doll that I keep on my altar. Um, so a lot of that is like part of my personal inspiration to continue to drive forward and tell my family's story, be a representation of what my family did for me, which was instill a lot of culture and pride in being a black woman, um, a lot of confidence in that I can walk into any space, be it white, black, what have you, and I am who I am and I'm, I, I've give, been given permission to be the artist and the woman that I am. I'm a mother, I'm a dancer, I'm an actor, I'm a narrator, I'm a writer, I'm a producer, I'm an all around performer. And I keep finding new ways to do that. So I have a poetry book now that I'm actually, as we're doing this interview, just releasing the pre-order today, <laughs> which ended up rolling into, then I made a poetry album and, <laughs> Who does that? But people who, when they grew up, made up songs with their families and beatboxed harmonies with their cousins. So I'm very grateful to share my family tree story. And I'm very grateful that you're now a part of it and you're part of my legacy of my own work in art and the manifestation of my ancestors' dreams.